All right, we now have the model open in Bamboo Studio, and we're going to go ahead and go through all the slicing settings. Let's do an overview of Bamboo's basic settings. First thing you're going to come to here is Printer. This one is set for the P1S. You're going to want to go ahead and click this and choose the printer you actually have in front of you to use. Next, we're going to go to Plate Type. Here, we have the option between these four plate types. Currently, on the X1C, we have the cool plate, so we're going to use that. There's also the option of the engineering plate that comes with it. Now, if you're running on a P1S, you're going to be on a textured plate, and I believe so is the A1 as well. So we're going to choose cool plate. All right. Now we're here at the filament. This is where you can choose the filament manufacturer and the color. Since we're only going to use two, I'm going to go ahead and hit the subtract button. We got the Bamboo PLA Basic and the ESUN PLA. We are going to be using Bamboo PLA Basic for everything. So we're going to go ahead and just find that bad boy right there. All done. Next, we're going to come to our layer height. Right in here. If we click on it, it's going to give you a bunch of user presets and a bunch of system presets. This one's already set for 0.16 millimeters, and we're going to leave that because the designer thought that was the optimal setting. I also agree with the way the wording is set. Next, we're going to come down to quality here. This is where we have our layer height again. It also gives us the option to change your first layer height, where your seam is, and if you're going to be ironing on any surfaces or no surfaces. Next, we're going to get into strength. Here we see our first set of orange text and return buttons. This means that these are not the default settings. These are settings that are changed. If you change it, it'll turn orange, or if the designer changes it, it'll turn orange. Here we have our wall loops. This is how many walls we have on our our print. So as you can see here, we have three from the original. What we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the difference between three and ten. See how much different the wall loops look here compared to the other? Alright, so that's the difference between wall loops. We're going to go ahead and keep it at three. Now you have your top and bottom shells. This is going to give you a different pattern on your top and your bottom. As right now you see we have a monotonic well, if you were to change it to something like concentric, when you re-slice it, it's going to give you a different look to the top of your... It'll do it to the top or the bottom, depending which one you choose. We're going to go ahead and leave ours the way it was set. Sparse infill density. That's set at 20% from the designer. So you can see that's what 20% looks like. If we were to change it to something like 50, you can see how different the infill pattern is now. Go ahead and get rid of that guy. All right, so there's the difference. We're going to leave that with the way that the designer set it. Supports. This print, we're not going to use any supports. You have the option, though, for normal or tree, and also manual in those. That's where you actually choose where you want them and where you don't. That is going to be in a later video. Threshold angle, and then you have your filament for supports, your raft base, and your raft interface. We're going to go ahead and leave that off. We don't need it. Moving into others, this is where you have your bed adhesion, your skirt height, your brim type, your brim width, the prime tower, your flush options. All of these settings we're going to go ahead and leave. These are mainly for AMS, for multiple filament. Since this is layered, we're not going to really need it. Over here, these are some special modes. We're going to go ahead and leave those alone and just leave everything set. All right, guys, great job. You've successfully set up your scraper for slicing, and we will see you in the next video.